All right, here we go. Question number five from our college algebra homework number four. It asks us to find the zeros of the function and their multiplicities. And here they've given me a polynomial function that is not factored. So in order to find the zeros, we're going to try to factor this polynomial. And then we'll set each factor equal to zero and solve. So what I notice is I notice that this function has four terms. It's a cubic. And so that means that I'm going to try factor by grouping. Four terms factor by grouping. And so what I notice is out of the first group, I have a common factor of x squared. If I factor out an x squared, that's going to leave me x minus 7. Now in the second group, I don't see a common factor, but I know that this when I do factor it, it has to match the x minus 7 here. And the signs are opposite, so that means that I want to actually factor out a negative 1. And that will change the signs and get my factors, uh, my x minus 7's to match. So that is required when you factor by grouping. And then what we can do is we can take the common factor of x minus 7 and factor it out. And that's going to leave me x squared minus 1. Of course, we don't want to stop there because x squared minus 1 is the difference of two squares, and that will factor again. So the x minus 7 comes down. x squared minus 1 factors as x plus 1, x minus 1. And so this is factored completely. Here we have three factors. I can now set each factor equal to zero, and then that's going to help me find the zeros of the function. So here we go, moving the negative 7, the 1, and the negative 1. Tells me that x is 7 is a zero, x is negative 1 is a zero, and x is positive 1 is also a zero. Now, for the multiplicities. From the previous problem, we got that the multiplicity is the exponent of the factor that the zero came from. So x equals 7 came from this factor, which has an understood exponent of 1. In fact, I don't know if you noticed, but all of the factors had an exponent of 1. And therefore, all of the multiplicities are going to be 1. And just as a nice little tip, your multiplicities, whatever they are, when you add them, have to equal the degree of the polynomial. So 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3, and that does check out. Now let's check our My Math Lab and see if we got the right answer. It says the zeros of the function are, use a comma to separate the answers as needed. So what did we get? We got 7, negative 1, and 1. Yeah. Each 0 has a multiplicity of 1. Since they're all the same, they all have a multiplicity of 1. And there you go. That's it for that problem. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section below. and Or you could text me, I guess, if you need help. And thanks for watching.